So we finished the auspicious month of Kati. Now is the time. This is the time when the gopis all do Kadyana breath. 这个是现在就开始，沟木流姑娘们要做这个卡尔卡尔央帕纳，卡提亚亚纳，卡亚亚纳，卡提亚亚纳，卡提亚亚纳。Vrat, vow. Kadyana vrat means you know what they do? They go, they take a bath in the in the Yamuna early in the morning. 他们做这个卡提亚亚纳这个誓言，他们做什么呢？他们在很早的时候就起床去雅木纳河沐浴。And do you know why they do this? 你们知道他们为什么这么做吗 ？They want to get Krishna. Yeah, they want Krishna for their husband. 他们祈求 Krishna 能够成为他的丈夫。So don't all rush to the Yamuna tomorrow. 明天你们不能跑到雅木纳河。<laughs> so this morning I was talking. I had to give class to the devotees in Kazakhstan. And we were speaking on the sixth canto Srimad Bhagavatam about the. Yamaraj instructing the Yamaduts. We are talking about the Sixth Canto of the Sixth Canto of the Sixth Canto. Yamaraj is the Lord who gave him the Sixth Canto to him. Because the Yamadutas had gone to get Ajamila. They thought Ajamila was a sinful person. Because the Yamadutas wanted to get Ajamila to get him. They thought that Ajamila was a sinful person. But when they tried to take Ajamila, at that time the Vishnudutas came. And they stopped them. When they were going to get Ajamila, at that time the Vishnu Dutta came. They thought that the Vishnu Dutta was stopping Yamadutta. So the Yamadutas had never been, nobody had ever stopped them before. Because in the past, no one had ever stopped Yamadutta. And they had never seen the Vishnu Dutas before. They had never seen the Vishnu Dutta before. So they came back to Yamaraj, who is their master, and they were asking him, "What happened? Who are these people?" And Yamaraj told them that these are the servants of Lord Vishnu. Yamaraj just told them that these are the servants of Lord Vishnu. And Yamaraj told his servants that. That man Ajamil was freed of all of his sinful reactions. Because he'd been chanting the holy name of Lord Narayan. And by chanting the holy name, he had destroyed all of his sinful reactions. So Yamaraj told his servants, the Yamadutas, "You should never go near those Vaishnavas." So Yamaraj just told his Yamaraj servants, just told these these servants, "You should never go near those Vaishnavas." So then the Yamadutas were wondering, "Who are these people? Who are these people?" So then the Yamadutas were wondering, "Who are these people?" Go to. Who should we go and get and bring to you? That Yamadutta just started to think. That we, if we don't go to these these devotees, then who should we go to? 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 
娘们让就说你应该去抓那些从来甚至一次连一次圣名都没有唱诵过的这样的一些人，把他们带到我的面前。People who don't chant the holy name, their tongue is like the tongue of the frog. We have a lot of frogs here. In the fields. When it rains, you can hear them more. When it rains, then you hear them. Like that, you know. And then the snake. There's there's a lot of snakes here too. <laughs> Big ones. So uh, the snakes, they have a feast. They go around and they get the frogs. And because they can hear the croaking of the frogs and they think, oh, there's my supper. Mm. So, people who don't chant the holy name, their tongue is like the tongue of a frog. They don't speak the holy name, they don't speak the glories of the Lord, they don't chant the holy name. So whatever they say is like the croaking of the frog. And they're bringing death, just like the croaking of the frog brings the snake of death. The people who don't chant the holy name, they're also bringing death closer to them. But if we chant the holy name, if we're chanting, if we're speaking about Krishna, describing the glories of Krishna, then, then we don't have to worry. We have nothing to worry about. We're serving Krishna here, we'll go and serve Krishna some other place. So Yamaraj told his servants, and if there's anybody who doesn't bow their head even one time before the deity, they go to the temple, but they don't bow their head before the deity even one time. Bring those people to me. So there, there's people like that. They won't bow down. I'm not going to bow down. Why I should bow down? Prabhupada said, you don't bow down to Krishna, then you will bow down to old age, you will bow down to disease, you will bow down to death. You'll be forced to bow down to these unpleasant things. But the devotees are happy to bow down to Krishna. And by bowing down to Krishna means they never have to bow down to old age and disease and death. They don't have to worry about coming back into this material world. And then Yamaraj also said, Bring to me those people who don't do their duties according to Varnashram. Yamaraj继续向他的使者说, 
社会世界是灵性世界的段所规定的这个职责，从来不遵循、不履行他的职责，这样的一些人就有代沟。Kali Yuga people are very irresponsible. They don't do their duties. 卡利年代的人非常不负责，他们一点都不做他们的职职职责。The Brahmanas are Brahmanas in name only. These, some, some Brahmanas, they are just in name Brahmanas. In the tenth canto, Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Sri Lal Prabhupada describes, because it's talking about Mother Yashoda, how, how she bring the Brahmanas to do rituals for her child. In the tenth canto, Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Sri Lal Prabhupada describes, because it's talking about Mother Yashoda, how she bring the Brahmanas to do rituals for her child. In the tenth canto, Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Sri Lal Prabhupada describes, because And the Brahmanas would come and chant mantras for the welfare of the child. And Nanda Maharaj would be very happy to give charity to the Brahmanas. Nanda Maharaj 也非常乐于，非常开心的要给这些婆罗门一些布施。Because he knew these brahmanas are they're they're giving they're chanting prayers for the welfare of my son. 因为这些婆罗门他在唱诵，他在为了我的孩子的好处在唱诵一些曼陀罗。So Nanda Maharaj understood also by pleasing the devotees, he's able to please Vishnu. Nanda Maharaj 也知道，通过取悦奉献者，人就可以取悦主为什么 ？When Mother Yashoda delivered her child, of course, actually she had two children. She had Krishna, and she had also Yoga Maya. 当啊，亚修达妈妈呃产孩子的时候，当然还有两个孩子，第一个是 Krishna， 第二个是 Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya is the younger sister. Yoga Maya 是一个比较年轻的妹妹。So the Nanda Maharaj's mother, they didn't know. They only thought we just have the one boy. Vasudeva had taken the, the girl away. And the boy who he brought from Mathura, who Devaki had delivered in the prison house of Kamsa, that boy merged into the form of the boy delivered by Mother Yashoda. The child delivered in Mathura is called Vasudev Krishna. And the child delivered in Nanda Maharaj's house in Goku, that is Sham Sundar Krishna. Hmm. So Sham Sundar Krishna is the original form of Krishna. And the other forms, they come from that Shamsundar form. So that one of those forms was Vasudev Krishna. So when Vasudev came in the, in the night, he came to the home of Nanda Maharaj, he brought the boy, he put the boy, the two boys merged together, became one boy, because they're both Krishna. But one was Vasudev Krishna, other is Shamsundar Krishna. So Vasudev Krishna enters into the Shamsundar Krishna. When Vasudev came to Mathura, he brought this boy, he brought Nanda Maharaj's house, Vasudev Krishna and Shamsundar Krishna were together. And he took the girl away, the yoga, he took her away to Mathura. So, Mother Yashoda has the child Nanda Maharaj very happy because they were both old. They were both old and they got the child. So, very happy, you know, usual old couple, they, if they get a child at all, it will be a girl, won't be a boy. When Yashoda's mother and Nanda Maharaj had a child, especially a young man, they were very happy. 
因为通常情况下，在比较年老的时候，得到的都是一个女孩。现在他们有一个男孩了，所以他们特别的开心。嗯。So he had a big festival. 于是他们举行了一个巨大的。And all the people of Goku, all the Bridge Bassi people, they all came. They're all very happy because Nanda Maharaj is the king. He's the king of the cowherd people. 所有的狗哭了，所有的那里的呃人们都来了，因为南德马哈瑞是狗哭了的姓氏，是这个当地所有牧牛郎的国王。And Nanda Maharaj is giving charity to everyone, not just the Brahmanas. He's giving charity to everyone, whatever they wanted. Nanda Maharaj 给予人所有人布施，无论他们想要什么，他们都他都会给予布施。嗯。Because he knows, you please the devotees, then Vishnu is pleased. And when Vishnu is pleased, then he, all everybody will be happy. Everyone will be provided for. But in Kali Yuga, people are very stupid, very ignorant. They don't know anything. They don't chant the holy name. They don't go to temple. If they go to temple, they don't want to bow down. They don't want to take their shoes off to go in the temple. <laughs> so many things. They don't want to do so much. They don't want to do anything which would help them to advance in Krishna consciousness. So they're unfortunate souls. Bhagavad Gita describes two kinds of people, the divine and the demoniac, or the devotee and the non-devotee. Demons, yeah, they're demons. If, if we say non-devotee, then non-devotee is wrong, actually. Non-devotee is neutral. They haven't made up their mind. Mm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> they're thinking about it. But demon means that they're against Krishna. They don't want to do any service for Krishna. So Yamaraj told the Yamada, "You bring those people to me." We would think, "Oh, keep these people away from me." But Yamaraj said, "No, you bring them to me. I will take care of them." Yamaraj said, "Yamaraj has his own way of dealing with these kind of people." Yamaraj has his own way of dealing with these kind of people. Let them go to, to Yamaloka and see all the nice things they have there. Let them go to Yamaloka and see all the nice things they have there. Let them go to Yamaloka. <laughs> so Bhagavad Gita says, Pavritim cha, nivritim cha, jana navadura suraha. Right? There's pavriti and nivriti. Pavriti, the things we should do, and nivriti, the things we shouldn't do. So those who are asura, those who are the demons, they don't know what is the things they should do and what they should not do. They're thinking, meat, fish and eggs, oh, very good, just give me more. Oh, yes, we want casino, gambling, we want free sex, we want intoxication. Oh, we're thinking this is very nice. 
So we we have to Prabhupada said we have to change them. We have to change the pavriti so that they understand what they what things they should do and what they shouldn't do. Nivriti is what they shouldn't do. Pavriti what they should do, what they should take, what they should accept. We say no, no meat, no fish, no egg, right? No intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex, no nonsense. We say no, no meat, no fish, no so we have to change the people so they understand what what they should do, what they shouldn't do. We didn't know before becoming devotees, we don't know what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Even simple things we didn't know. We didn't. We didn't know we're not supposed to eat meat. Everybody eating meat. Every everywhere there's meat, and we're thinking, oh, then this is what everybody. Everybody, you just eat it. You think this is what people eat. The woman gets pregnant, she thinks, oh, abortion, go and have abortion. And this way some women they have many abortions. They didn't know, they didn't, I, I didn't know, Jean. Everybody else is doing it. We think this is what everybody's supposed to do. So, how important, very important for us to give this knowledge to educate people. So now, Coming up to the auspicious month of December, and the devotees are all, all around the world. They are trying to distribute more books. Devotees were telling me last night. I was giving class last night for the Chinese devotees, and some of them were saying, "We're go I'm going out for book distribution for the." The marathon. So they were asking blessings, so we said, yes, bless you, go ahead, distribute many books. Mm. People need to read these books, so not just get the book, they need to read it, they need to understand what's in the book. Just to get the book and just to keep it and not read it, not much good. So, Devotees are making great efforts to go out and try to reach more people. Prabhupada said, China, we know China is the biggest market. A lot of people. Okay, a lot of people also here in India. But devotees here in India, they're also distributing a lot of books. So while we're here, if you can also distribute some books, it's very good. 
们在这儿，如果你们也能，你们也能够去拍一些书，这也是非常好的事情。I know the late the Mataji from Hong Kong, Yogini, the disciple of Tamil Krishna Maharaj. She she stayed here in Mayapur for several years, and she was regularly on the book table distributing books. We know this Yogini Mataji, Tamil Krishna Goswami Mentor. 他以前在这里，他在这里待了几年，然后他很有规律的在这个派书他那里待着，然后去派书。Bhagavati and Krishna Bringa, they were both big book distributors for a long time in Hong Kong. 呃、uh, ，Bhagavati 还有 Bring Krishna Bringa Prabhu， 他们都是非常大量的派书的奉献者在香港。Yeah, we distributed a lot of books in Hong Kong. 他们，我们在香港派发了大量的书籍。他们在香港派发了大量的书籍。Of course, Hong Kong people, special people. 香港都是很特别的呃人们。Give them the book doesn't mean they read it. 给他们书籍，他们并不一定会读。Anyway, now we're doing a lot of things. To help people understand the books with all the classes, all the courses which are available. We just finished the second course of the Bhagavad Gita. Do all the eighteen chapters. If one day, one chapter, they give an overview of each chapter. One day, each day, one chapter. 我们已经刚结束了第二遍的这个佛家瓦坛的整体概览，就是一天读一张这个，就是一天佛家瓦坛，呃，概概述了解整个一章的部分。That was in Taiwan for Taiwan people. 这个是台湾台湾的奉献者在做的这个事情。And some people, other some Chinese speaking people were coming from Hong Kong and from Malaysia. 然后也有一些香港的和马来西亚的奉献者。They all they wanted to hear. They are very happy to hear. This is our duty as devotees. We have to tell people get this book, and you can also take the course. Tell them they can take the course and study the Bhagavad Gita. This is our responsibility. We want to let people get this book, and then we can tell them to come to such a course, and then you can understand the Bhagavad Gita. Very quickly, very quickly, they can understand the Bhagavad Gita. I was reading Bhagavad Gita for years. I hardly could understand it. 我读了佛家梵歌这么多年，但是我也也仍然很难理解佛家梵歌。But once we get these courses, these classes, then it becomes very nice. 如果能够去参加这些课程，了上这些课的话，就非常好了。Now we have devotees all taking classes also in Srimad Bhagavatam. So the devotees are getting more education, and once they learn, you learn it, then you teach it to others. We have to teach. We want to give this, share this knowledge. Don't just keep it for ourselves. We need to share this knowledge, then share this knowledge, and not just keep it for ourselves. This is like if you have water, you have water. This is like if you have water in the clay pot. Here in India, it used to be they kept water in the clay pot. And the water, the clay pot, it cools the water. So in the summertime, it's very refreshing. You get the water from the clay pot. It's cool water. It's not ice cold like you take it from a refrigerator. From the clay pot, the water is very refreshing. But 
But the problem with the clay pot is the water is evaporating. The, the water is every day will go down a little less, a little less. Because the water, the clay pot is porous. It means the water comes out through the pores of the pot. So the same way, you get knowledge about Krishna, you keep it in your heart, if you don't distribute it, it will just dry up every day a bit less, a bit less. And you have to teach, you have to give, share that knowledge, give it to others. The more you give, the more you get. Now Charu Chitramataji is teaching, right? Ninji Dada Dashi. Mm, very good. Mm. Yeah, why not? Everybody can become devotee. Right? Nan nu lao shao. Krishna consciousness is for everyone. Mm. We don't make distinction. Mm. The message of Krishna is for everyone. One, one devotee, is, she's in Switzerland, in Geneva, in Switzerland, and she has a, a weekly program there. So she told me last night, she had the program, she said, four older ladies came. And she said they were chanting and dancing, they were so happy. So I told her, great, you made devotees. Somehow they immediately took to Krishna consciousness. Chanting, dancing, they love prasadam. Krishna is in everyone's heart. There are devotees of Krishna everywhere. They're just waiting for us to come there and find them. We have that job to go around and get them. So this is the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. So, we we have the same business. We are we are here in Mayapur. Many people are coming here. We don't need to go anywhere. People are all coming here. We just have to tell them about Krishna. Yes? If someone only has prasadam interesting, mm, they don't like philosophy, what to do, how to teach. People, they like prasadam, they like come to my house, but they don't like to talk about Krishna consciousness. And then how to teach? Only prasadam, but they don't interesting about Krishna. They talk another topic. They're not interesting. Yes. How to lead them to hear in Mother, 
关于讲别的事情也好，并不感感兴趣。无论你想把他是否引到会上，他不敢，他只对你的不善论感兴趣。那么我们如何把这样的一些人引到会上那里去？ Chanting the holy name， 唱诵圣名。More kirtan， 更多的 kirtan。Keep them busy with kirtan， 让他们忙于 kirtan 的活动之中。And then get them in the kitchen and get them to cook。然后如果他们在厨房的话，就让他们在厨房里去帮你打下手。Yeah。Train them up how to cook. These two activities are the most important: the, the cooking of prasadam and kirtan. Lord Chaitanya only spoke philosophy to a very, very few people, very small number of people. But for the mass, for the mass of people, kirtan prasadam. We are the kitchen religion. <laughs> Don't give them nice prasadam. She 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 buy she get some Just keep giving them prasadam and chanting. You have to, we have to make friends. Of course, philosophy people they will take a long time. But prasadam, very powerful. <laughs> and kirtan. So that's real preaching. You can speak so many words. What is the good? You speak so many things. Everything for God. Oh, prasadam. Train them up how to cook. Teach them cooking. People want to, they want some activity. They don't want to sit and listen to philosophy. They want some activities. Good. The main thing is vegetarian first. Otherwise, you can preach those people. So stop them. <laughs> they don't give up. Well, I don't know about vegetarian first. I think it's chanting Hare Krishna first, and then vegetarian will come. I don't know if it should be this food first. But I think it should be chanting Hare Krishna first, and then vegetarian will come. I don't know if it should be food first. But I think it should be chanting Hare Krishna first, and then vegetarian will come. We don't ask them to believe. We don't say faith. We just say chant. We don't. We don't. We don't ask faith. Just.
Just sing this song. Sing along. Join the song. Yeah. You don't need to understand anything. You don't need to believe anything. Just let them chant. Let them sing. It makes us happy. That's why. <laughs> makes us happy. You want to be happy? <laughs> Everyone wants to be happy, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> So chants won't be in Kaisin. <laughs> they don't have to believe. Why? We just say chant. Why? They ask why. It's okay. Just do it. <laughs> I, Mr. Nike. Just, just do it. <laughs> Think what? Think what? So. <laughs> so preaching, yeah, we know it's it's a difficult task sometimes. Kali Yuga, people are very dull, dull brain. <laughs> so you have to give them nice prasadam. Do you want the nice prasadam? Then chant. <laughs> No chanting, no prasada. <laughs> you have to you have to use our brain to think how to get people to chant the holy name. Some benefit. Some benefit. Some benefit. Yeah, we're telling them benefit. You get prasadam if you chant. Even the flower, they hear in high more beautiful. My father just told me, oh, I don't know why the flower suddenly is so beautiful. <laughs> because I, I carry all the high at home, and then the flowers hear it, and then flowers come out nicely. <laughs> From the beginning, my beginning, I, I just play the Maha Mantra in my house. My wife told me, why the flower looks nice? <laughs> when they hear the mantra, <laughs> the flower. Yeah. They hear it. Yeah, they Some do. water, they hear it, the mantra, they become beautiful. The water become nice. <笑>他说那个 <他说他如果教一些花>, <笑> It's a fact. If you, if you play some other music, if you play, you know, heavy rock, <laughs> the flowers will wither and die. Also, the water, when you have good vibration, the water becomes very good. When you, you when the water here you can see very bad words and the water becomes bad. But at Mahamantra, the water becomes beautiful. That means oh I go with the thing I the thing I land on. Oh what's all yeah. So the water 
to carry the energy of the vibration. So people they they replace the word with good word. So the word the word to crystallize become very beautiful. Or people they, they, they say bad word to the water or hatred. Then the crystal become very dark, very active. Mm. Also uh, when we uh, when we study the Hindi version, when we we chant the mantra, we put the drop of water on the hand. You look, you look the water and chant the whole uh, the 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 God name, and and chant the God name and then drink. Then the cows, they teach put water. You see the water. You you chant you chant the uh, the law the law name and then drink it. Then it's more powerful. You have to look and chant the name and then drink. That means vibration. You you chant the Krishna name, like Kesava, Madhava. You you look at the water and chant, and then you drink. Then then more purified. Yeah. Yes. 妈妈就讲的这个核心呢，就是说，如果你喝水的时候唱这个哈利克萨，或者说唱这个曼陀罗，或者唱总的圣名在里面，它会净化你。嗯，对，你净化手的时候。你你看那个时候，在你的手里面的时候，看到那个时候，那个时候念圣名，啊，我们可以说，如果你念圣名的时候，那个时候说到净化，我们后那个时候我们也净化，被净化了。所以这个是阿克什曼的方式。OK， 还有问题吗？呃，现在我们现在的天气来到这个，一开始嘛，现在就是有点，呃，怎么，我不知道怎么，我们呃，我们开始老师开始，如果开始吹气，呃，坚持会不会？可以，你上课这样可以。They give a lot of books here. They give many people. There's many buses, you know. They have the buses and the brahmacharis. They go in these buses. They go all over India. And they're distributing books. And they get people to sponsor. They get people from other countries to give money for the book distribution. Because there's a lot of Bengali people in America and in other countries. So they they will give they give they're happy to donate for book distribution here. 有很多的这些孟加拉的奉献者，他们在美国，在别的一些国家，他们都会愿意捐赠这个钱，然后让这些书捐赠出去。So the devotees they can give out the books quite quite cheaply. 所以奉献者可以以非常低价的这个价格给予，把这个书派出去。And often they give them away free also. That depends where they are. Depends. Mm. Mm. You know, like Bangladesh also. Don't Mong Jawa. Si Mong Jawa. And then Nepal. There's a lot of people, poor, oh. poor people. So devotees also distribute books there. Even Sri Lanka. All over India. So they distribute they distribute more books than other countries in the world. 
他们派的书比这个世界上其他国家派的书都要多。Sometimes they go in the village, and the people will line up to get the book because they're giving them out. You know, they give them out so the people come there and they line up. 有一些时候，他们去到一些村庄的时候，他们如果去派出，那里的人们都是排着队去领书。<笑> So you can try, to, if you like to give some books here, you can. In Calcutta, they will be distributing, they distribute books there, they go to the train station. But of course, at this time, you know, because there's COVID, it's not very safe. You have to be very careful. Because there's still a lot of COVID around. Some places are locked down, locked down. Different countries locked down. So you have to be very careful. We don't want to get infected. <laughs> in, in Europe, they have 15,000 cases in one day. 15,000. Mm. 15,000 now, one day. Mm. Now they locked down. Amsterdam. Japan. Yeah, I heard Holland was locked down. Holland. Yeah. Germany also. Many many places. Austria, Austria, all day they got locked. This from our Eastern Europe. Even New Zealand, New Zealand, Auckland has been locked down for a few months. But they didn't have many cases. They got one case. <laughs> one case. Lockdown. Hong Kong only few cases. The airport also locked close. No flight to Hong Kong. No flight to Hong Kong. From India to Hong Kong, no flight. They don't, they don't like people come from very dangerous place. <laughs> you pick you for so many days <laughs> in the hotel, then you get it. <laughs> yeah. Or in a plane or in the hotel, then you get it. Yeah. Nobody knows, but you can get from your pocket. Hmm. Okay, so be careful if you distribute books. Yeah. That could yeah. jump. Eating your dai ko chao. Okay, so we'll have some kids time for a little while. Okay. I was thinking maybe every Sunday we can meet, but maybe we'll do it earlier. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we, we do like the Russians. They have Sunday program at Mayapur Hall. We have the China program here. <laughs> maybe we can have Prasanna after okay. after the <laughs> thing. Yeah, in Krishna. Come and put it down, come and Krishna.
and they don't know what they want. They, they, they say, can we chant, that, will we get what we want? Whatever we want, can we get what we want when we chant? So I said, yeah, what we want, everybody wants Krishna, right? So let, let them chant and they'll get Krishna. They don't know what they really want. We're thinking, I want this, I want that, no. Nah. They don't know what they, what they really want, everybody wants is Krishna. So let them chant. Yeah. They'll get what they want. Okay.